If you were alive during the 90s, you know that there were just a ton of really weird toys, and I think that one of the weirdest of them was Hit Clips. Now, I'm not a heathen. I'm not gonna come out and say that Hit Clips were stranger than, say, the Furby. But Hit Clips were still very strange. I mean, they were comparatively very expensive for what they were versus the price of just buying a CD. And also, the sound quality was just absolutely terrible. Which leads me to the question that we've all wondered at one point or another in our lives. Were Hit Clips bad on purpose? Or was it just kind of like a fluke of the time? Hit it! Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clips. Music to get you grooving. Now, of course, I could go on, I could read Wikipedia, I could watch some YouTube videos, I could, I could, I could go rent a book from the library, but no. I decided to go straight to the source, and I bought Hit Clips. I spent real American dollars on Hit Clips in 2023, the year of our Lord. I dragged my ass over to eBay, and I got this Hit Clips micro personal player with uh, a special one minute Britney Spears Stronger. Oh God, it's too close. With Britney Spears Stronger. Do you guys remember that song? Now I'm stronger than yesterday. I can hear my wife walking by as I'm singing Stronger by Britney Spears. Honey, are you judging me? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. You're the one holding two candles. What's going on? So today we are going to answer the age old question. Were Hit Clips bad on purpose? I'm gonna open this bad boy up. We're gonna try it out. But first, let's get into a little bit of history behind Hit Clips, shall we? We're going to. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with Hit Clips, or if you are a 2000s child, I mean, technically these were available in the 2000s, but you were an infant. They're basically just these little clip-on music players that play these little cartridges that have 60 seconds of a hit song on it. Honestly, the name is really clever <laughs> because it's like, you know, it's like a, a, a hit clip, like it clips on to your person. And it's also like a clip of a famous song. Now, as an adult, I can't help but think of the scene in the office when Michael's going through a breakup and he doesn't want to buy the full song. So he just keeps listening to that clip like the goodbye, my love. And funny enough, these actually started as toys in McDonald's Happy Meals, I found out, which feels like a gold mine. I, I literally just today got a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. I did not, buy, I didn't buy the Happy Meal. Somebody else did and they had a toy. Uh, you know what, the person who bought it was an adult too. So like, I'm not shaming anybody if you like Happy Meals, it looked like a great meal. Regardless, I was gifted the toy from the McDonald's Happy Meal and it was just like this cheap plastic, like it had a cool little like action moving arm on it. It was from Marvel, I think. But I can't imagine getting something even somewhat like this in my McDonald's Happy Meal. I'd lose my mind. But apparently the McDonald's Happy Meal scheme was such a rousing success that Tiger Electronics decided we're just gonna make a metric butt ton of these. And so they did. So when these came out, the sensation was just wild. I still remember that one of my friends, Johnny, he had a hit clips and he had like the NSYNC bye 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 hit clips. And I had never heard NSYNC before, but he was down on the carpet with the two girls that I definitely had a crush on in class. And he, he like goes down on the carpet and they're like all sharing the one little earbud, listening to this like, one bit version <laughs> of NSYNC's Bye Bye Bye. And I was hooked. I mean, I I think that I was maybe a little bit playing along because like at the time I just wasn't into NSYNC, but I was like, oh yeah, this is like, this is the jam. And like for a frame of reference, we didn't have iPods. There was, there was no Zune. Guys remember Zune? <laughs> but even before I saw my first Hit Clips music player in person, of course I saw the commercials and, and we got to talk about the commercials. Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clips. Music to get you grooving. Hit Clips is a slick micro... <laughs> Hold on, can we talk about that dance? Audio system. This type package is small. It pumps out monster sound. So that's just a bold-faced lie. These did not pump out monster sound. They barely pumped out any sound at all. It breaks sound like this. We clip, clip, clip. And sample songs. So only the grooves stick. It's gonna be me. It's the same girl. She's doing the same dance. Plus, with the micro boombox, load the mother load. Oh, see, now that's, that's a dance move. The girl in the back with the purse just kind of doing the... Doing a little dippy. Some of these songs available now. More this fall, you can collect them all. Hit clips, each sold separately. That was such a wave of information. I feel like that's what all 90s commercials were, but at the end, it's like, more songs coming this fall. You gotta collect them all. You gotta get hiccups. You gotta get them right now. Go tell your parents. Get your groove on with Dream. Hit it with Hicklips. I don't know 
now I feel like every single dance move in the late 90s, early 2000s was just wild. This commercial was 2001, by the way. Look, it's the new Hit Clips earphone player that fits right on your ear. So apparently they made a Hit Clips ear clip, which makes sense, I guess, because you don't need the cable. And I mean, we were all wearing those on-ear headphones that kind of like looped around and destroyed your ears anyway, so. It plays the newest music like Vanessa Carlton. So this is just a series of commercials from 2002 where they showcase the earpiece, the carabiner, and apparently all of the situations in which you want to use it. Like, they're always at the carnival with these. You know that they just had like one shoot day and they were like, we need to get it all. <laughs> we don't have the budget for a second day. Hey, Hitquid fans, you can look for a bonus prize chip in specially marked carabiner and boot box packages wherever you buy Hit Clips. You're the Hit Clips grand prize winner. Listen to see if you've won cool prizes. You can even win a chance to meet O-Town and sing with him on stage. Did anybody ever win? Was there actually a mystery hit clip anywhere? If you or someone you love won the hit clips competition, <laughs> email me. I'm just getting the impression that all of this is just marketing for these musicians. I mean, they're, they're highlighting Dream, they're highlighting O-Town. I don't know. So most of these commercials were honestly pretty similar. There weren't any crazy differences. It's usually just a few white people dancing in front of a green screen TV doing really odd dance moves like like this little number here. And then they would just bring in the artist that they were trying to kind of promote. That guy in the middle has got to be a terror at parties. If I was in a group of friends and one of them just started going and then we all synchronously said hit it, I'd leave. I'd flee. It just everything about those commercials makes me feel like they didn't have a second take. That they had one shoot day, they were like, we got the dancers, we got the spiky haired lady, and we got a bunch of kids at a carnival, so just go. <laughs> I also think it's important regarding the absolutely wild nature of these commercials that we discuss the Furby again. Because Tiger Electronics, who made the hit clips, made Furby. Furby was the devil. I'm genuinely still convinced that Furby was like some sort of Illuminati move on the general public. I remember there was this kid that I went to school with. I will not say his name. Rhymes with Stathan. <laughs> but Stathan brought his Furby into class and the whole class, I don't remember what it said. All I remember is like the horrifying beak moving. It's like, nah, nah. I don't think it said mama. <laughs> but it literally just kept talking during our entire class until the batteries were taken out and then it still kept talking. You can't tell me that's not Illuminati. Ah! Also of note is that Tiger Electronics made a bunch of other toys. They also made that like toothbrush that when you're brushing with it, it would like shock sound into your skull. I think that they just saw the success of hit clips and they were like, more music for the kids. <laughs> but you gotta remember, this was 1999. We didn't have iPods. We didn't even have iTunes at the time. I think Napster was out at that point. You guys remember Napster? I sound like such an old man. Yeah, you remember Napster? When you would go to download a song and you would like accidentally download a virus that would destroy the family computer, it was great. But the internet was just a wee little baby. You couldn't just go and listen to a song willy nilly. Also fun fact, the original iPod came out in 2001, which can't be a coincidence that that's kind of when the hit clips started to die. Makes sense. You're paying $4 for one song versus a dollar. But the other thing was at this time, the music industry was on fire. We had NSYNC, we had Backstreet Boys, we had Britney Spears, we had Hoku. I bet you forgot about Hoku, didn't you? Do not ever forget about Hoku again. I had such a crush on Hoku. I remember she had that song like, I think it's time for you to find another dumb blonde. My babysitter was over and she was like, you have a crush on Hoku, don't you? And I was like, no, I don't. I don't like Hoku. I did. I liked Hoku. It was the movie Snow Day. That was like the song from it. But I think that big music just had this idea of like, oh, like they're kids. They don't care about the quality of the music. And they were right. Those marketing executives were smart as a whip. We did not care. <laughs> By the end of 2002, Hit Clips sold over 20 million units and made over $80 million. That's a wild amount of money for selling this. Take a look at it. It was brilliant. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but why would you buy that? That's $4 a song. It was like $8 for a CD-ROM back in the day. You don't get the glamour with a CD, no. You don't get the glory of having Britney Spears stronger dangling from your keychain. And we, by the way, we were kids. We didn't have keychains. What were we driving? We weren't, is the answer. But we had them. We had, we would put them on our backpack. We put them everywhere. If, if we existed, hit clips were with us and with your spirit. That's my dog. That's Oliver. 
Welcome to a little rest stop in our video. How you feeling? Relax your shoulders. You drink, you drink enough water today? <laughs> As I said earlier, I bought this Hit Clips Britney Spears Stronger Edition. I've made no effort to hide my lavalier microphone. I'm not that type of filmmaker. Not anymore. Before we unbox this, I feel like we need to actually give it a fair look over. I'm still holding the scissors, hold on. I feel like we owe it to the creators of Hit Clips, Tiger Electronics, to give this a little look over. So here we have the Hit Clips Micro Personal, there it is, Hit Clips Micro Personal Player featuring Britney Spears Stronger plays all Hit Clips Micro Music. You know, and that's the thing is I don't, this is the only Hit Clips Micro Music that I have. Uh, but if we look on the back, this is some of the stuff that I want to talk about here. We have this crazy alarm clock, which looks like it can hold six or seven different hit clips. We got this little uh, FM tuner here. I'm doing this backwards. This is really hard. We got our little boom box. We got all kinds of hit clips, additional players and music to collect. Should I try to get some like ASMR goodness in here? Like, you like that? You dirty little snakes. I'm just worried that the second I pull this out, there's gonna be like battery corrosion or something. The uh, the earpiece is like shedding some kind of a black material. I don't know what that is. Honestly, not bad shape for the fact that it's been sitting in its package for 25 years. Not quite 25, but yeah, you get it. Now I gotta really get in here to get Britney Spears stronger. Let's. I'm always so worried that this is gonna like lathe open my fingers because we've all done that. Like you open up one of these packages and just your fingers get freaking annihilated. <laughs> this thing is so tiny. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a, it's a hit clip, but like, I don't know if it's gonna focus on this or not. Let's see, come on, right here, camera, right here, right up. Got a little Britney Spears stronger action going on. I will say the print quality on this looks like, if you had like one of those old, uh, like Epson printers or something at home, back in the early 2000s and you would like print out a picture of like you and your friends and there'd be so much ink that it would like warp the paper because it was soaked. That's what the print quality kind of looks like of the picture, but the text, I, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it. It's not gonna focus. The text is crisp. It is sharp as a tack, but the picture looks, uh, it looks like it was, uh, it was not good quality. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here first. Got the Hiccups Micro. <laughs> Britney Spears Stronger. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't even fully insert it. Oops. Now I'm nervous to see what happens next. Absolutely nothing. Oh no, it could be the headphones, which I was under the impression that you could replace the headphones. That ain't coming out. I, I brought a pair of studio headphones to try. Am I gonna have to try to track down a battery for this thing? So I had to make a run to get the batteries uh, and I went to CVS first. And I just gotta say, shame on you CVS, because when I went to Ace Hardware, right around the corner, they had these for literally less than half the price. My dog's licking me right now, sorry. Oliver, what are you doing? Less than half price at Ace. I don't know how that happens. Partially it's because of a pricing error. They had the tag on the wrong thing, but still, even without that, it was gonna be like less than two thirds of the price, I think. So thank you, Ace, and shame on you, CVS. I'm gonna go install these. So there's all kinds of corrosion going on inside of here. So I'm just really hoping that I don't like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna contract a disease installing these batteries. Oliver, you get away from here, you're gonna get sick. What are you doing? Oh, there's a clip. There's another clip inside of the hit clips. Well, this is counterintuitive. I am an adult. I should be able to install this just fine. Moment of truth. The batteries fit, does it work? <sighs> this is a wild disappointment. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? Yes. I hate to admit defeat, but these are a dud. I, I think that it's sitting in the package for all those years and the batteries corroding inside and ruining the guts of this machine ruined the guts of this machine. So uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to test hit clips. I, it makes me wonder if like maybe it is playing, I don't know, but maybe it's maybe it's just like the, the maybe this is broken, maybe the earpiece is broken. I don't, I don't wanna like break it more. I had high hopes for you hit clips. I had high hopes for the crappy audio quality. Now, and here's the thing, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Here are some clips from some other YouTubers of the audio quality being played out loud. Here's that. So you can tell that it's not good and you can't, here's the thing, there are a lot, there's a lot of points of failure here. I don't know if the clip went, if, if the clip itself went bad, I don't know 
if the battery corrosion was just too, it might be the battery corrosion. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, why won't this work? And meanwhile, the battery compartment's just, it's okay. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, Zach, that's so sad. You just, you bought a hit clips micro. You were so excited to hear it. That's okay. This happens in life. Are you still relaxing your shoulders? Make sure you're relaxing your shoulders. What am I gonna do? Listen to actual music? <laughs> more than more than 60 seconds worth of a song? Pish posh. We also need to talk about the peripherals that came with hit clips. You could get a dancing robot. You could get an alarm clock that could house multiple hit clips. You could get a boom box in case you wanted to play crappy music out loud to your friends. And eventually, put your belts on for this one. We got hit clip CDs which could hold a whopping two minutes of a song, which honestly just seems like a terrible tease. Like if you're giving me two minutes of a song and most songs are only like two and a half, three minutes at the time, I just want the whole song. Figure out how to fit it on there. It seems rushed. But the question still remains, were hit clips bad on purpose? Honestly, I don't think so. But I also don't think they were trying to be good. Apparently Tiger Electronics had so many musicians reaching out to them that wanted to be a part of hit clips that they had to start turning people away. What that tells me is that this was just marketing. And I, I hate to I hate to say it because that hurts my gut. It hurts my soul. Cause like we're kids. Like we of course we think like this looks this looks cool as hell. And I just gave away the fact that I filmed the unboxing after <laughs> this segment. So oops. But if I think about it, honestly, the reason I was introduced to NSYNC was because of hit clips. And I'm sure that there were a ton of musicians out there that had people introduced to their music because of hit clips. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that most likely hit clips was a marketing scheme aimed at kids and it worked insanely well. And thankfully as a little bit of a middle finger to those marketing companies and a, a big dollar sign in Steve Jobs pocket, the iPod came out, everybody started having MP3 players, but it's still kind of scummy, right? Like you're, you're making kids pay $4 for a little cartridge of a crappy snippet of a song when they could just go buy the whole CD all just so that some musicians can advertise their stuff. I get it. Musicians gotta eat too. What a time to be alive. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. Please subscribe if you like me or if you like this video. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.